Hello, everyone. Um, the time has come to play Elite 2 for the first time ever. So, um, it's already kind of getting a little bit loud. Okay. So, uh, we've been tasked to play this game for Amigos by the Amigos Game Selection Committee. This is, uh, every couple months we're going to tackle a deeper game than what we're used to. So, this should be interesting. Um, I have played quite a bit of Elite Dangerous on the PC. In fact, I bought a high-end gaming PC for, um for the express purpose of playing Elite Dangerous and for VR, neither of which I'm really into anymore. But I still have the high-end PC, which came in handy when we started the podcast and we started doing a lot of video stuff. So I'm glad that I got it. And I did enjoy my time with Elite. Um, this looks uh, in some ways already more interesting than the PC Elite. It's definitely a lot more colorful uh, if you've ever played the uh, PC version of Elite Dangerous. Um, it's a lot of orange and a lot of space, a lot of black of space. So um, I'm hoping that we get some uh, fine folks in the chat that can help guide me. I've printed out here um, selections of uh, the manual. I have the flight controls here and I have some hints uh, that someone has printed out. So. Um, we'll see, we'll see how it goes, but this will be the first of, uh, more than a couple streams. Uh, we're not playing this, or we're not reviewing this on the show until February 19th. So, um, it will give me plenty of time to become familiar with this game. So I'd like to welcome, um, Kate P. and Michael Ryan to the stream. Um, and hopefully... We'll have a good time. Uh, hey, Pixels. Hey, TCMBRNT. So yeah, um, I've also got the full 59 page manual open on a PDF. Unfortunately, it's scanned in and not OCR'd, so I can't really um, search it very well, but I'm open to the icon section here, which is um, pretty early on in the book, so that will help too, I hope. So, um, TCM, I'm glad you're here. Um, I'm glad everybody's here. We're gonna, we're gonna start at our recommended start position. Okay, and I guess that, um, this is, this is one of those open-ended, the world is our oyster. We can do anything. Look at the, uh, the wireframes on these. It reminds me of hard driving or something like that. Uh, you're right, Kate. Very epic intro. Um, so, uh, I know that the, the station services are here. Um, maybe what we need to do, we've got a hundred bucks here. I'm not sure what the elite cargo is. A hundred credits, probably. Um, we've got, I'm sure we've already got our ship set up. Uh, let's check out the bulletin board here. And already this game is better than the uh, than Elite Dangerous because it gives you a person to look at. It's like it's you're not just interacting with uh, you know just text, just walls of text. So anyway, wanted passage for a small group to the Delta Pavonis system. We'll pay 700 credits. Hmm. Luxury goods, we'll pay a lot per ton. Okay, this one looks pretty good. 900 credits for passage on a ship for a group to the Barnard's star system. Okay. Um, this is interesting. So you can um, choose your own response here. Um, 
five of us. I'm not sure how, let's see. That's that, that's that. Is that, that's our ship. So we've got three, a cargo space of three. I don't know if we can take these guys in if we wanted to. Um, I guess that's me, Commander Jameson. I must have skipped the part where I could give myself my own name. Surely they would have included that. Um, yeah, you're right, Michael. They do have multi-person ships now. Um, the the problem, my problem with Elite, is that it's always seemed like it's you know a hundred miles wide and an inch deep, um, and at the end of the day, you're just going from system to system, and because there's such little um, color, you know, uh, you, you find yourself just making deliveries and taking off, and all the syst all the all the stations look the same, um, you know, outside the you know the three or four main categories. So, all right, uh, I think I've I've lost that. Um, okay, here we go. Let's see what happens if I say okay. Okay, I don't have no cabin space. Um, Okay, please choose advertisement. Okay. Yeah, it looks like a like a hard hat. Maybe she's come off a construction site. Okay. So I've got I was hoping to 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 pick up something here. Um let's see how many of there are. Yeah, I just don't, I guess I don't have, uh, I don't have enough room. Battle weapons. Here's a small group. I don't have enough cabin space. Hmm. Okay, here we go. I do have... Okay. So we've got our first mission. We're going to go to the Fomal Halt system. Okay. So let's go to our galactic map. There's the Fomal Halt system. Um... Now the fun starts in figuring out how to target myself to there. Let's zoom. Okay, that's where I am. And let's see. So I've got to jump to somewhere else to get closer. So, um, yeah, I'm just not sure how to click on anything. Let's see if autopilot flights. This is all stuff on once I'm in the air. Click on the targeting icon, F10. Hmm, that didn't quite give me anything. Right. So this one's only 6.96. 
jewelry card one time. This one's ten light, but I'm going the wrong direction now. Yeah, this thing is complicated. Um, let's see. I'm going over to the uh, instructions here. And current system map, global icons, targeting icon. Once I get going, this game really, once I figure out how to do the main things, things should go better. Um, but until then, it's going to be slow going. Um, okay. So this is, so it's in the current system. Okay, this is the, yeah, so this is similar to, um, oh, once it's highlighted, it's set. Okay, thanks, thanks, Paul. So, so it's highlighted now. So now let's go back to here. Request permission to launch. Okay. And... Well, that's our... Uh, well, we're out of money. <laughs> okay, now we've... I think the, the authorities have been alerted. And that is the end of the game. All right. Well, I think that I've seen all have uh, all there is to see. Uh, have a have a good night, everybody. Adios. All right. We'll try it again. Okay. Things should go better now. We need to pick a new. Thing here, so I was hoping to get the same. Um, The same thing, but I can't. It's not there. All right, let's just see if we can figure out how to get somewhere. So, um, okay. The Foma Halt system, which I think was where we were going last time. <laughs> Okay, and then seven. Let's try to zoom in a little bit more. Okay. Oh. I've uh, I've pushed something I shouldn't have. Seem to be, uh, okay, can I just return? Okay. Hey, Ricky, how's it going, man? Okay, so here I am. I need to get there. Okay, I've got it selected. I push seven. 
Okay, now I need to know how to take off. So, launch request. Okay, seal airlocks and prepare for launching. Okay, these are all my different views. This is the view. Okay, that's my cabin view. Oh, icon seven. Okay, thank you. <laughs> okay, now we're airborne. Let's go ahead and take up the landing gear. Okay, and enter. Yep, now we're flying. Now. I'm not really sure how to gain altitude. I'm pulling up on my stick and that doesn't appear to be doing anything. Um, although this is very pretty. Hold right mouse button. Ah, thank you. So, a lot of this is mouse driven, which is just fine with me. Okay, so let's break on through here. Boy, how fast can my ship go? You know, it's been... Uh, it's been unseasonably warm here, Ricky. It's uh, 60 degrees today here in West Virginia. There is, you're right, there is a time acceleration option. Um, is there no um, hyperspace in this, in this game? Is it all just basically... Um, I mean, I'm holding down here. This number is getting very, very big. Oh, okay. Well, that makes sense. Okay, the cross is where you want to go. The diagonals point to where you're flying. Okay. That's pretty good. All right. We broke through the atmosphere. We're in space. Awesome. Okay. I mean, seriously, like, you see the set number, that's what's increasing every time, you know, while I'm holding down the enter. Um, I guess this is like 15 kilometers, 15,000, 15, no, 163,000 kilometers per second. I'm not sure what the... Um, what the max speed is. Am I doing the right thing here, Paul? Okay. We've reached our, our maximum distance. Boy, now without a jump drive, am I going to be able to make it as far as my fuel goes? Where is my fuel gauge? Yeah, these are the fast forward buttons. So, that's probably good. Oh, now we're moving. Um... Maybe this green is my fuel. Um, not seeing uh, a. Is there a way that I can see how far away I am? Because it seems like I, I guess this is how far away I am from where I just left. Surely I'm getting closer. Okay. Yeah, so I want to run out of fuel and then I want to be dead. So, let's just see what happens when you run out of fuel. Yeah. Okay, so we gotta start over. Um, oh, we got some options here. We definitely need to turn that on. 
Continuous music. Ooh. Look at this. All the different things. Oh, is there a restart button? Oh, that's my emulator restart. No noise. Restart the old fashioned way with just a soft reset. Is there. Uh, I'm hesitant to uh, start paging through this manual because it's just so massive. Maybe F2. Okay. Let's look around and see what we can discover. Okay, I see. These are all our um, hotkeys. Okay. Um, but I don't see a way to just restart the game from the... Uh... Where is it? Cargo inventory. Hold on. Oh yeah, class one hyperdrive. I'm just not sure how to, maybe I should have hit J for jump. Click refuel. Oh, cool, okay. So I got more fuel, that's good. Um, does it, I want to say, uh, let's go back here. Okay, back to the map. Oh, that's, so is Arcticus in range? That's just, it's, I'm going the wrong, the wrong way. If I'm trying to get the form a halt, maybe Bernard Star, is that, maybe that's better, you think? Look in the bottom left. So this is 5.42, so that means I should be able to jump there, right? Yeah, okay. So, back to here. And maybe we need to go to a different way of looking at things, okay. This is relative to Ross 154. That's where I was going before, right? Above the clock. So I'm seeing this, this, this actual. I don't understand, Paul. Can you break it down for me one more time? I've got a fuel, I've got a full tank of gas. So this is this is the this is the distance that I have. No, this is how fast I'm going. This is how fast I I want to go. Is that right? When I was in the map screen. Okay. Oh, I see. Right there, insufficient fuel. Okay. So maybe I just need to start over. Cuz I don't think I can make it anywhere. So that's what we're going to do. Okay, this time we're going to beat the game. Okay.
Okay, so I don't think we're going to get that thing that we had before. So maybe we'll just do the um, the military thing again. Oh, there it is. It was right at the bottom of the thing. Okay. So. Now we're going to do it right. Okay. So here's our plan. You can let me know if you think this is a good idea. Okay. We need to get there. It's out of range. Okay. But. What if we went to Bernard Star first. And then sort of worked our way over. Oh, that's awesome. It's just like the uh, Elite Dangerous. This is so impressive for an Amiga game. Okay. So what if we went to Bernard Star? Well, maybe there's something closer, right? It seems like that should be in range. How about this one? That one. Okay. That looks like it's better. Right? Can I just spin myself around here? And that is in range. It's one ton of fuel required. I think we should go for it. What do you guys think? Well, my, my goal is to, I mean, there are, if we go here and I think this, so if we go into this system, let's see, this is this particular planet, this Lakyle 87, <coughs> um, you can see what's over there. That's what I was thinking. That's what I was thinking. I just want to get one one delivery under my belt. If we, if we can do that in this hour, then I'll feel like we've accomplished something. So, let's leave this place. Okay, we've got that targeted, so we're going there. Back to there. Oh no, we got to do this and then request permission. Lift off. Okay. Okay. So it's like no matter where, it just wants me to get off the planet is basically what it's saying. So that's no problem. Let's get off the planet. Engage thrusters. Yeah, Mike. Me too. Uh, that's that's the way to go. Although I tend I tend to get singed sometimes, living life on the edge with the, with the fuel scoops. The cross is the direction you want the ship to travel. The diagonals. Oh, okay. So how do I know where I'm? How do I know what the right direction I'm going is, Paul? Like. So I guess I haven't really targeted a system then. So I have. It's there. I just don't know how to show myself that on the... Maybe once I get into space I can see it on the radar. Right. I've targeted it on the map now in Elite Dangerous. Yeah, you're you're right about the the cross and the diagonals. On Elite Dangerous, you are um, you can kind of set this up to where it will do like what you were explaining. Press eight. I pressed eight. You press over here. Oh, there's the. Oh. <laughs> Uh, 
Okay. Now, let's look at our map and see if we're... Where am I? I keep wanting to use my mouse wheel. Okay. That's right. That's right, Ricky. Okay. So we've stopped. Okay, I see some enemy ships appearing. Or maybe not enemy ships, but just other ships. Um, on the very edge of my sight. Okay. So, let's go back to the map one more time. Okay, so I guess we're there. Right, Paul? I mean, we made it. Right? Right, guys? Okay. Now. Okay, it says insufficient fuel. Okay. Now, um... Now what we need to do is... Can we go deeper into this thing? Like, oops, nope, not that. This. Whoa, too far. Okay. So I'm real close to where I need to go. However, I was hoping to buy some fuel here, which I thought I could do, but I don't know how to target that particular planet within the system. this do me any good? Oh, that's the sun. I've gone too far. No. Hey, Henrik, how's it going? Yeah, that's, this is something that we're really going to need to figure out because I won't be able to... Uh, do anything else if I don't have, uh, if I can't target a specific planet within a system. There should be a space station here, right? In the system somewhere. Maybe you're I'm trying to think about how normally the, the stations are, yeah, they're, they're listed separately. Um... back to here that's a great question um, Paul I, I don't know if there is a space station there I'm doing pretty well Henrik doing pretty well um, it says mining and some ore refinement so maybe not maybe what I need to do is okay thanks Michael let's look at this um, so this is Small Baron's Fear of Rock. On each one. Major Starports. Oh, okay. Thank you. None, none. Maybe that's why I couldn't do anything. Okay. Well, that makes sense. At least we know now. Okay. So we leave here. Um, and let's go ahead and go to our ship. And we can um, I thought I was pressing this thing to get to my fuel container. Hey, Tim. Is there a self-destruct thing? I didn't see that. I could, what was I pressing last time to get to my... How did I have that thing of fuel? I 
maybe I can only see it if I'm down on fuel. Yeah, F3, I'm cycling. I'm cycling, I'm cycling. I don't know. But I think we've got enough fuel to make it to the formaldehyde system. So let's zoom out. Okay, then use the arrow keys to target. Nope, insufficient fuel. So I can't make it there. So this was a bad idea. Jumping to a system with no um, starports. Definitely dumb. So what I should have done was bought more fuel before I left. Okay. Thank you, Pixels. Oh yeah, this is very similar to the uh, the manual I'm looking at, except it's in fuel, full color and I can read it. Okay. Um. So, right, right. You're you're exactly right, Mike. Uh, Michael, I've. I've messed up completely, and guess what, guys? We're going to have to reset again. <laughs> oh, boy. Can you believe one person was responsible for this, or at least responsible enough to put his name at the very beginning? Okay. I'm just looking at uh, to see if there's a buying fuel option here. So there's a there is a fuel scoop here. Uh, we cannot afford it. <laughs> um, I don't see any fueling options here. You'd think it would be under repairs and servicing. You know, we can check out the stock market. See what's up. So, oops, nope. <sighs> Forgotten how to do everything. Okay. So is this the, uh, is this? Wow. No, this is not a stock market like like a stock market, like um, like Wall Street. This is just like stuff, right? Like raw material store. That's what I think. Do you guys agree? Yeah, for trading your stock. Exactly. Exactly. It's not like um, like brokers or in here. Okay. So that's like Elite Dangerous. So, luxury goods, that lady wants luxury goods. We can't afford to give her luxury goods. Um, okay. Let's go back. Third time is the charm. We're going to go all the way down to the bottom. Because, okay, there is an Arcticus. Let's look at our map again. Okay, what's nearby that we can reach? Okay, Articus we can reach. Okay. What we need to do is find a sector close to Fanal Hot. Fanal, 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 sorry, Fanal Hot. That has, that can, that can refuel us. I can't remember if we went to 352 last time. Nope. It was definitely uh it's definitely this one. Oh. Yeah, there there is there is a mission to go to um Arcticus. Let's look at it again. 
So, but again, this is um, passage for a small group and we have no cabin space. Another small group to the Articus system. Yeah, so, but what we can do is we can go to the stock market and we can buy some fuel. Oops, nope, I just sold our fuel. <laughs> okay, I just bought, I just spent our last dollar, not really, but I spent a lot of money on, on gas. We're guaranteed to be able to make it this time. There is nothing that can stand in our way. Okay. So we have targeted the correct system. And let's go back to here. Request permission to lift off. Lift off. Landing gear up. Engage. Probably should aim a little higher. Did I not take the mission? I did, didn't I? Did I not take the mission? Oh no. Hold on, let's see. We'll just dock here. Docking's real easy in Elite. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Alright. I don't know how to slow down. This is something that I should have learned. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay. That's okay. Faster than restarting. So we'll just we'll blow through these as fast as we can. There's the mission. Okay. Hang up. Next, we go to the stock market. Buy fuel. Okay. Next, we go back to the surface. Request permission to take off. Okay. We need to select the system. Good thinking. Good thinking, Paul. That's why that's why I need to have all of you guys as part of the team. Because I would not be able to remember all this stuff on my own. Okay, 9352, targeted. Yeah, Ricky, uh, Pixel sent that over. Uh, I will give that a study between this stream and the next stream. So I'll know more of what to do. Okay, so we've targeted. Is there anything else I forgot? Okay, I'll go ahead and take off so I don't get fined for loitering. Good plan. Landing gear up. Point at the sky. Thrusters. Picard, you're the ultimate captain. What are you talking about? Just look at your name. Okay, and now we can definitely um, 
We'll set this up to like that. Speed up time. Okay. And... Now, is there anything special I needed to do? Like, do I need to aim my ship in any special direction? I didn't last time. I hit 8 and it warped me there, right? I just want to make sure that we don't mess this up again. Well, at least not any more than we did last time. Right, you're right, Michael. Um, but in this game, I didn't, I didn't have to do that. I don't think. Um, when I'm pushing eight, and nothing's happening. Okay, maybe I had the game paused or something. I don't know. Need to have a system selected and in range. Okay, well, let's just go back here. Okay, that appears to be out of range. There we go. I had the wrong thing selected. That's why. It was the other LaSalle? La Cal? I don't know. Okay. Hmm. Um, whoops. Nope. Nope. I don't want to do either of those things. F8. Okay, sorry. Okay. Okay, now we're slowing down. Okay, system map, right, right. Okay. Now is the moment of truth, because now... We go to... Form a halt. Okay. And... Back to there. And then one more jump should do it. Okay. And now we appear to be here. So that's good. So let's look at our system map. And look at this. We've got tons of places to dock. Um, Yeah, good job, guys. Y'all, y'all were were part of this. Um, now, did we ever figure out? Oh, we go to. Whoops, come back to me. Um, that is that is on a much larger scale than what we need. Okay. Now I just don't know how to target. Let's see, that's from all one. Oops. Uh, so are these orbits? Press F10 on the in-flight view, okay. Ah! Thank you, Pixels. Okay, so now, just kind of looking around. Yeah, don't fly into the sun. That's, that's, a, bad, that's a bad time. Okay, there's Formal Halt 5. Um, we need conversion. Well, let's just go to, no, there's no major starports there. <laughs> Bad idea. 
So what we need is conversion. Um, oh yeah, the mission. I, I forgot about the mission. <laughs> okay, sorry guys. Um, so that would be F. This one. Destination for mall hall. Um, I don't know if there's any way to get more. I'm not sure what I just did there. That was sounded scary. I saw the word jettison pop up. Um. Okay. Yeah, I have no idea how I jettisoned that fuel. Um, I'm seeing six, five, two. Oh, there's form, form a halt. Okay, so that's where we're going. Let's hit it. Okay, and now we just need to speed up time. Ship is under attack. Awesome. Um, I don't really have any lasers. Maybe I can outrun him. Okay, I guess I can't speed up time when I'm under attack. Um... I'm clicking on my left mouse button, but it's not. I shot a couple times. Maybe I'm out of uh, lasers. What's he doing? Maybe he's out of range? Hold down the right, then click left. Okay, sorry about that. Sorry. So it looks like I'm being... Um, being held in this speed until I do something about this attacker. Just clicking left will target. Okay, I got him targeted. So I'm pushing shift, and that is not, um, it's not slowing me down. Any other ideas on deceleration? It doesn't even look like he's firing at me. Oh, I think I hit him. I didn't I didn't press anything.
I seem to be losing speed just naturally. Um. Oh, okay. It's the right shift key. Left shift key does not do anything. Which makes sense. It is the Amiga after all. You, it sure does take you a while to, um, oh, I see. I was looking at the wrong set of things too. So he's, 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 uh, getting away sort of. So I guess I do need to, uh, catch up with him. Plus he's heading to the same place I am. Not sure what my range is on my weapon, but I'm sure it's not 26 kilometers. Thanks, Gary. some hole damage. Ah, there we go. I'm hitting him. I can hear it. I can hear that that distinctive sound. It's just my my laser is so wimpy. Unless he's hitting me. Starting to get fatigued here. And the thing is, like, I just can't leave because I'm under attack. So, I've got to destroy this guy if I've got any hope of getting to... Oh, I've also stopped targeting him. There we go. I definitely think they made combat a little bit better in Elite Dangerous. <laughs> At least there, I'd either be dead by now or he'd be dead by now. But it's possible that, of course, I don't know what I'm doing.
click on the radar area. I've got I've got no armaments. <laughs> I couldn't have bought any armaments. I only had a hundred credits. Oh, on the missile icon? Ah! Oh, fire. Well, I think I need to be closer. We can get closer. Oh boy. He knows I'm gunning for him. He's running. Okay. There we go. See? I mean, I, I think that that was pretty much a direct hit. But he's still... He's still going. Can I escape yet? Nope. Yeah, I mean, I can just keep on trucking. Let's go full on, full out. Oh yeah, I'm leaving him behind. That's what I should have done a long time ago, Paul. Good idea. That's, oh, thanks, uh, thanks Gary. Uh, I will check him out. This is... I'm looking forward to um, learning a lot from this game. It's one of the advantages of our Amigos Game Selection Committee, picking these games for us every every couple months to, to really sink our teeth into. I, I don't know how to target it. I mean, um, let's see if it'll let me leave now. Nope. So here we are on the map. And let's see. This is the only place I know how to target things. On the other map, like the galaxy map, um, which is this one, like I don't know how to target anything. Um, although I see I am. This is something like time point. I don't know. Oh, I see. Maybe something like that. Double click on anything in the system map. Okay. Oops. System map. System map here. Double click. Okay. And then back here. The green map with the orbits in it. Okay, I can do that. I remember that. Okay. And double click on anything. So if I double click on... Yeah. Like this one, right? I'm do I've double clicked on Forma Halt. That's form a halt. Okay. Well, let's go. Okay, there's... I think form a halt... 
I think that that's the star, and that's probably not where I need to be going. Where I probably need to be going is here, to conversion. Okay, so I've double clicked on conversion. Hit F10 on the screen. Oh, there's conversion. Oh, hit F10 on the map. Okay. Ah, it was the F10 that got me. Click a target or destination for autopilot. That's what I'm trying to do. Oh, boy. Boy, I really went far in there. Not sure what I've done here. Okay, got it. Oh, sorry, that was probably really loud. Dobson Terminal. Okay, I've got a blinking square. How do I move? Okay, there we go. And then F10 again. Oops. Why is it not let me click on this? Oh. Oh, wow. Okay, F10. All right. So we've got the Dobson terminal highlighted. So now... Okay. Thanks, guys. I would have never figured that out in a zillion years. So that, that was very useful. Okay. So now, my ship is still under attack. Click on manual control. How do I know if I've, if I've given up manual control? Hmm. I think I've... Okay. We need to get that other thing back. That was great. So we'll go... Here. F10. Come on. The problem is, is that this guy just won't leave me alone. That's neat. This game is really impressive. I mean, I know that, like, I'm really not, uh, I haven't even scratched the surface, but to be honest with you, like, Elite Dangerous is really pretty, but it seems to be doing the exact same thing that this game, which is, you know, 25 years old, is doing. Um, I want to get back to, there we go. Okay, so that guy's gone. He's not gone. He's, I guess so. He's right on top of me. He's just going to keep circling around me, but he hasn't actually hit me. I mean, he's hit me a couple times, but...
yeah, I'm not, I'm not doing anything right, Duncan. Um, I want to just lose this guy. And he refuses to be lost. Oops. Oh yeah, I didn't think about that, Paul. That's a trick that works in Elite Dangerous too. Um, so I do have, I've got plenty of fuel. So let's just jump out. Well, I don't know if it'll let me jump out if I'm under attack. Um, I'm hitting F8. Maybe it's because I don't have anything targeted on the map. You know, jettison fuel, it's had to be done. Yeah, I did. I jettisoned my fuel. Oh, all right, guys. This is going to bring to an end the first epic Elite Dangerous stream, or Elite 2 stream. Um, I will watch more videos. Next week, I will come back, um, possibly even before next week. I will come, and uh, we will try this an another day. Yeah, Ricky, I will check out the Jim Plays Games stream. And um, I will learn. And then next time next time you see me play, I will have become a cabin man. So thanks for all the support. Thanks for, thanks for coaching me through, guys. I will see you next time. Uh, if nothing else, I will see you on, on Friday's show. Adios.